Good morning. This is Good News Friday. The big awakening. That's the big thing. That's the big story, isn't it? And it's real. It's massive. It started with the Patriots, of course. They spoke up and more and more people started to listen. That's how it started. And now, this is my advice to you politicians. You better start listening to the people because there is a change. And you have to listen to them or you will not get elected. They will not be fooled again. Yeah. And I think it's got a lot to do with the United Nations, actually, because this is the main player in this weird game, the United Nations and their agenda. And they have been working for years and years in secret. They, they control the bureaucrats and the, the politicians, and they sort of left the people out of it. See, they wanted, they didn't want to upset the people. So the people were kept out of it. And now this is changing too, thanks to alternative media. We are exposing the United Nations agenda. And now even some politicians are starting to confront the United Nations, like Trump. He is. And, you know, Salvini and Orban and guys like this. Yeah. So this is, of course, brilliant. We need to give these guys a loss. You know, the United Nations globalist pact. They need to lose. And we can deliver this loss to them. Yeah. I have some examples of this uh, awakening. It's stories. That's what it is. A lot of stories that shows you the change. Here's one from the Netherlands. There was a protest consisting of patriots. Patriots were protesting in the Netherlands. And then there was a reporter, and I think, I'm pretty positive about this, that this guy was from mainstream media. And he was uh, trying to ridicule these protesters, you know. He was there to make fun of them. And then something happened, which sort of changed this reporter's mind. One of the protesters, he put on this, <laughs> this pig hat, pink pig hat, you see. And he was detained by the police officers, <laughs> five or six of them detained him and took him away because he was wearing a pink pig hat. And the reporter uh, witnessed this and he got surprised. So he started to interview this guy with the pig hat. Said, oh, so you're being detained for wearing a pig hat? Wow. You know? And then he tried to interview the police officers. And he was just pushed away quite brutally. I will post the link below the video so you can watch it if you want. It was great. Uh, here's a story from Germany. Uh, German motorists, they are getting tired of uh, this 16-year-old Swedish climate prophet, <laughs> Greta Thunberg. They are. Uh, now we noticed how more and more people attach stickers to their cars with the text Fuck you, Greta. <laughs> and apparently these stickers are selling a lot. See? Small stories. Um, and finally, the European Commission new president, Ursula. That's what I will call her, Ursula. With seven kids not two. She warned that a hard Brexit will have massively negative consequences for both the UK and the EU. This is interesting. I'm positive this change, this uh, Brexit thing, will be very positive for the UK. But I'm sure she's right. It's going to be very negative for the EU. Yeah. And, you know, I have, to tell, I have to tell you, this has been going on for three years, this Brexit thing. 
and uh, I still have my doubts. But with Boris Johnson, uh, my hopes went up. It did, I have to tell you, because this guy is a bit different. Yeah, so uh, my hopes are up, and um, you know it's been going on for three years. Brexit. You voted to leave the EU three more than three years ago, and now we we will ha we have to give them this loss. You know, it's so important. And I'm sure, you know, the globalists, they will try everything to stop it this time too. They will. But, uh, you know, I'm quite positive about this. And I would love to see this. Britain leaving with a no deal. It would be fantastic. Very important for all of us. So we'll see. All right. Now that's all. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.